Okay, you guys, it is day five, and I'm back home. I spent five hours in the ER yesterday, dehydrated and pretty, pretty full of pain. The pain medication, I guess it turns out the pain medication, the Loratab, was making me sick to my stomach, so I was not taking it when I should, and then when I did take it, it was making me really nauseous, so I was backing off taking it, and I didn't have anything for nausea, so I wasn't sipping my water, and I was getting dehydrated, so Friday morning I called the hospital and asked who the doctor on call was, and had him paged, and he called me back and said I needed to get to the ER. Well, the only problem with that was that by that point, it was after 8 o'clock, 8.30 maybe, by that point, my husband had already left at 6 o'clock that morning to go shake cherries because his family has cherry orchards and anyway, I won't get into that. That's a really long story. Um, yeah, Ron, I know you're going to ask me about it. I'll type you a letter. Um, anyway, I was in a lot of pain at that point and very, very nauseous. So I called my neighbor because she's a nurse. I don't know if she wasn't home or if she wasn't picking up the phone. She works nights. Maybe she was sleeping. I tried calling another friend of mine. She didn't pick up. Um, and at that point, I, you, you just get so upset and you're so scared because you're starting to shake and, and everything. And I was crying and thank God for my friend Nancy. She was on Skype that morning and I hit the call button and I'm just, I was losing it. I'm crying. I'm all alone. I don't have the car. I can't get to the ER. He left me the truck and it's hooked up to the trailer. <laughs> I can't unhook the trailer because the garage door is pulled down. <laughs> you know, I mean, it was pretty pathetic. And uh, I'm doing a video. Leave me alone. <laughs> so anyway, um, now I lost my train of thought. So anyway, we get to the, I finally get a hold of Eric, he's in the orchard, he comes home and we head off to the ER and it took about an hour, maybe more, by the time they got the IVs in and had me back to a room. I mean, I was in agony because I hadn't had any pain meds since maybe 4 o'clock in the morning and by this time it was about 11 o'clock in the morning. So I was, I was hurting pretty bad and, and feeling really sick to my stomach. Um, but the ER nurse, oh, five stars. I mean, the guy just, he was a trooper. Never, I mean, they had to go back in this arm for the IV. They tried this arm. See my little, uh, there's one, where is it? There's one bruise, and then there's, uh, anyway. Um, he couldn't get the IV in because they're pretty big, and um, he had to go back in the other arm. I didn't care at that point. I just didn't care. I was crying and crying and crying. And you're just so emotional at that point, and you're just in so much pain, you just want to be out of pain, and the nausea, you just hold their little bag, you know, and, uh, but by the time they got the meds in, I think I must have been there about five, I think I was there for about five hours uh, by the time we were able to leave. And then when I did leave, they had given me some extra medication before I left, before they took the IV out, and... Eric went to the pharmacy, he went and got himself lunch, I mean it was after 2 o'clock, 2.30, 3 o'clock, and took me home and I slept the whole way, never even knew he'd gotten out of the car. Uh, but now that I'm taking my meds and I'm on nausea medication, I am telling you, don't leave the hospital without it. The fact that I was on nausea meds when I was at the hospital and then they sent me home without any is I'm kind of pissed about it. I, I think they should have sent me home with something. I mean, I was already on nausea meds at the hospital. Why would you send a patient home without nausea meds? Uh, can we say, duh? So I have my follow-up visit on Wednesday, and I'll be, I'll be bitching. I'm not going to lie. Uh, I will be telling them that I think they dropped the ball on that. I feel that they did not give me proper care. I probably shouldn't have left the hospital as early as I did. Um, anyway... It, you, know, you can't you can't guess every patient but I was already on nausea meds that probably means I'll still need them and that's just not rocket science so I'm a little upset about my surgeon's office with that uh, 
they always make you feel like you're not really in the loop with them. You know, they, they step in for two minutes and then they're gone. I, I'm not I'm not saying they aren't good. I think they're really good at what they do, but I think you're just a number and they're just cranking them out. Um, so that's kind of a loss, but I have a totally awesome weight loss surgery page that uh, I have great people on there that have been through this and I mean there's like 400 people on this page and there's always somebody online that can offer advice or they've been there or just hold your hand online and, and let you know that you're not alone. And um, Becky Bamboo, she, she's she been pretty awesome, or Bamboo to you I guess is her YouTube name, but she's been pretty awesome. I've been following her journey and I really I've appreciated her and she just keeps telling me to not, not give up and you know it's going to get better and she's right, it is getting better. It's day five and things are a lot better today. I just sleepy and I'm taking naps. I mean, nothing exciting and nothing funny really to report. I'm just like, wow, this is awesome. This is different. You know, it's not what I expected. I'm not hungry, not hungry at all. I am drinking my water, eating my sugar-free pops sickles and having a little bit of broth here and there. But other than that, I've just been kind of taking it easy today. Tomorrow I think I'm going to start walking on my treadmill and get moving, but it's definitely been a learning experience. If I had known the nausea was going to be that bad, I would have pitched a fit before I left the hospital, but oh well, live and learn. Hopefully the next person that goes through this uh, will have their stuff on track and they won't wind up in the ER like I did, but anyway, I just thought I'd give you guys a little update and everything's good one day at a time. Hopefully we'll get the kids back on Wednesday. I want to get this, I have a, a drainage tube, and I don't want that here, I, I don't want them to see that. Um, not that it's all that gross, but what if they got caught on it or something while they're wanting to hug me or something. I, I just don't want to take that chance. Plus they're having so much fun with their cousins. Um, we did talk to them today. I miss my kids. I can't believe they've been gone this long. I've seen them in a, almost a week now. Kind of crazy. Anyway, um, so I'll update you guys. and. Uh, I'll talk to you soon.